To make a hobo stove, we'll need two cans, some cutting utensils, and a sharpie. Now guys, we're working with combustibles in this video, so proper safety is a must. Don't take chances. The first step is to mark a line about one and a half inches up the side of both cans. It helps to set the sharpie on something and spin the can. Then use our scissors to cut the bottom of the can off. We'll want to use a razor knife for cutting the bottom of the can out. This is dangerous, so take your time and work slowly. Now we need to cut the top of one of the cans off. Discard the top and then cut the lower portion in half. This strip of aluminum will be our inner ring. For this next step, you'll need an unopened soda can. Press the soda can into the intact base. This will enlarge it just enough so that we can press the two cans together. Take the inner ring and make two small triangular cuts at the base. This is how our fuel will travel to the burner jets. So now it's time to assemble our stove. Insert the inner ring into the base and then press the open top into the base that we just enlarged. This can be a little tricky. Just take your time and press it in slowly. Now we could use a drill to make the jets, but since there's no electricity during the apocalypse, we're going to use a punch. We'll need to make 16 small, evenly spaced holes. I used isopropyl alcohol to power my hobo stove, but just about any alcohol will work. Fill it up about halfway and then light it with a match or lighter. Now just stand back and let it burn for a while. It takes a bit to warm up, but in about two to three minutes you'll see the jets start to light. And before you know it, they'll be burning strong. Now you're ready to cook. I decided to boil some water with my hobo stove. After lighting the stove and placing four empty soda cans around it, I placed a pot with about two quarts of water on top. Now you know what they say about watching water boil. Well, I sat back and timed it with my iPhone. Before I knew it, my water was boiling nicely, and according to my iPhone, it took less than five minutes. Well guys, now you know how to make a hobo stove that can boil water and cook food during the apocalypse.